Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spazcraft here on Minecraft. We are in the brand new version of 1.9.4. Well, it's not brand new now. Of course, we were in the 1.9.3 pre-releases. They released that. It had a silly bug in it. They had to put out 0.4. And now it's been probably two weeks since it's been out. Um, something like that. If not three weeks. Holy crap, it might have been three weeks. Well, I got really busy with finals, and then I also got free time. And um, I got a little disinterested in Minecraft, um, where I didn't really play too much on here after I did that vault. Um, I, that was really busy, and then after the vault, I kind of got some free time, and I kind of sort of... <laughs> Might have put like 60 hours of gameplay into Stardew Valley, and then like 15 hours of gameplay into playthroughs of Firewatch, and then might have put in like 20 hours playing Tomodachi Life with Thalia, and then might have put in 20 more hours into my Pokemon Omega Ruby, completing my, well I have one more Pokemon left, to complete my Hoenn Pokedex as far as catching all of them in Omega Ruby, I need to go to the Battle um, Frontier I guess it's the battle mansion now and get 32 more battle points and i will have myself a reaper cloth to get myself the dust clops to evolve through a trade that is the last pokemon i need to catch but i just need to get the battle points and i've really just been kind of putting that off so i have had time to game and i've been putting gaming time in i had just not been playing minecraft um i was playing minecraft i guess i was working on avius and unfortunately um that was the other reason why I wasn't playing Spazcraft. Derp. There was an entire week where um, the server was down. The server, okay, so long, this is a long story. <laughs> this is a very long story, and I apologize that you have to listen to this, but I should explain it. So, Fallout Hosting was the person I was hosting with on both of my servers for a little while. And what the heck? Anyway, Fallout hosting. Uh, turns out it was a college guy from Pennsylvania that was coming to Penn State, and he owned the server hosting company, and it was cheap, and it was awesome, and I really liked it. So I was like, oh, hey. Um, oh, I forgot I had stuff down here. I was like, oh, hey. Um, I want to get some servers. And I tried your servers out, and they're great. And I'm a YouTuber, and we're building the server idea. Any interest, interest in a partnership? And he was like, yeah, sure, but I'm not really interested in giving away Minecraft's free servers. Uh, you can do your deal with the servers, but I'll give you free – I'll design you a free website because I'm a website designer, which is like a $60 value, and I'll give you free website hosting space. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, perfect. Avius needs a nice new website. My YouTube channel uses a website. That sounds like a good plan. Well, a month later down the road, um, because of Sponge, Avius never really got up and running, and then the guy ended up being like – I don't have time for this anymore. I'm going to college, even though for some reason he had time for that in, in high school. So he sold Fallout hosting. And the new guy was like, okay, here, you guys, the original employees, you guys can just keep running um, the company as it was. And then he comes back. We had we started to have some weird server issues, FTP issues. The website was weird. I was getting like emails telling me my tickets were like back. A whole bunch of weird things started happening. And I started complaining. I was like, okay, this goes into like the second week. Now the server is like, I can't use the console. There's no way for me to use the console. Like it's giving me errors. I can't bank backups on my FTP. I can't even log into some of my servers now. And then all of a sudden my servers go on go offline and on like my client area, on my multicraft page. I was like, okay, now I can't even see my servers. Now it tells me my servers have new IPs and they're running Minecraft 1.7. And I was like not getting the answers from everybody. They were just like all of your – and then all of a sudden I get one. It's like all of your issues will be fixed in two days. And two days goes by, nothing. Servers have been offline. I go ahead and um, email – the, the people again, and then I get a message back on Skype, or I, another message on the thing that tells me to add this guy on Skype. So I end up talking to him, and it turns out he is the new owner of Fallout Hosting. I didn't know it had gotten bought, because I was contacting the owner, because I had his personal thing through Skype. That was kind of our other deal. It was like instant help. I could like message him on Skype, and he tells me he sold it, and the new guy calls me. He's like, I am so sorry. I was gone that first week I bought it. I am now in here full-time. Um, and I'm basically redoing everything on this website and all the servers, and that is why they are broken. I was like, okay. So he goes ahead and he's like, he's like, all of your servers are now fixed. They're now back online, um, with the exception of your worlds. I noticed that the Spazcraft data got transferred over to the next world, but the Avius data did not get transferred over to the, the next world, and it is lost forever. So my 
the Avius map, if you didn't know, we were building a new map on Avius, and we had just started it like two days before these server issues happened, so I didn't get a chance to back it up. I back up Spascraft all the time. I could have cared less if Spascraft got lost, I just would have rolled it back a couple days. Um, but unfortunately, did not have a backup of the brand new Avius map. And next thing you know, it is another couple days later, and okay, this was ended up being like a week and a half of unused of the servers, and we lost the Avius data. So he's given me some free, so I no longer have a partnership with Fallout Hosting. That's the first negative. The second negative was I had a week and a half of downtime of Avius and Spazcraft. And the third negative was the map data for the new Avius spawn was lost. So, yeah, but um, here we are. I get some free play time here on the Spazcraft server. And for now, um, yeah, no one's, no one's on. And no one's been on. <laughs> so... Um, after this is going to be, like, the next day or so after this video is going to be posted something regarding new people joining Spazcraft, so look out for that video. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be starting a new map here to play through the 1.10 snapshots, because, I don't know, Spazcraft, it's kind of his idea was to play through the new updates, and now that 1.10 is coming around so much, so quick, right after 1.9 was out, we want to play through the snapshots, and we all kind of are done running around and amplified, it's so time consuming. <laughs> and um, we've all lost inspiration for this world, and that's kind of what happens with us, but... Um, you know, it just happened a little bit quicker than I thought. We would still be playing this if 1.10 wasn't around the corner, but it is. So, we're not. Um, and what I was running around looking for was this vault key. I completely lost it. I forgot I had stuck it away, tucked it away in there. Um, but yeah, the new map is probably coming um, pretty soon, actually. Um, so, look for that if you are enjoyed Spazcraft or would like to see a new map um, emerge. So, keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Let's see. So that was the whole ordeal with this. It just meant it just ended up being like a painful amount of Donald time and talking to the people. The server is just, just painful. I just hate the server host, and I wish I could host this on my own computer, but I just don't have the internet to support more than one or two people. And then you know I always end up having like my laptop off at a time when someone else wants to play. So it's, in my opinion, using the little bit of income I make from YouTube, it's worth just using that. Now that I have another job, I don't, I really don't mind donating a couple, 20, 10, 20 bucks a month to pay for a server that my friends um, and I can all enjoy. I really don't have a problem with that. Um, but yeah, I moved in here a bunch of stuff and it took forever. Why? A great place to build this, very cool, but impractical. You know how much of it, I couldn't use a horse? You know how much of a pain in the butt it was to load stuff from up there to down here? I'm just like, there's no way. There is no freaking way. You build this like underground in your base, not a hundred, five hundred freaking blocks away. It was horrible. Um, it was horrible. <laughs> so I, I can't believe I, I did that. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my update I want to do on Spazcraft and let you guys know what happened. Um, I think I had mentioned we're in 1.9 before, but it really didn't do anything but offer bug fixes, um, and performance enhancements, and the 1.10 stuff out. They seem to have, the next couple snapshots have just been bug fixes, but the first one added a ton of stuff, but it was a little unstable, and they were adding, my only thing with 1.10 is, we st like, midway through 1.9, they added the igloos, which was something that was, you know, you need a new train to generate, and they added the loot chests. That was, like, halfway through 1.9. And we had already started playing this world, so we had to really go out a distance to find newly generated terrain um, to see those features. In fact, I've never seen an igloo. I've never survival found an igloo, and loot chests, I never really got to them unless we went out when we went, like, way out. Um, I found them, I think, once or twice. So... I don't want that to happen for 1.10. Now, in the newest snapshots, they've added 1.10 world generation features. They've changed how villages spawn and added some new ones and some new biomes. They have um, changed the way the mine shafts work in a couple different biomes and what they're made of and what levels they spawn at. And then they did the stuff in the mazes with the gold and, of course, the mine shafts there as well. Um, bring some things to the surface. So there's definitely some of those. But it's been a long time since we've had a new biome. And I have a feeling something else, there's got to be something else that's going to be added to 1.10. Oh, and the new nether generated terrain. So there's no reason for us to upgrade this world to 1.10. There's just no reason for that. But there is reason for us to do a new world, but I'm just wondering, maybe we shouldn't make a new world yet. 
I'm a little nervous about. Maybe holding back on a new world um, on a 1.10 world, because what if they had something else that's terrain and a new feature that's like, oh, we wanted to build a town in that environment. Because, you know, we, we ended up doing um, the Amplified because of the Elytra, and there really wasn't any other new features there. So, you know, that was why we did this. But if you go to another world, um, you know... Okay, Mesa seemed like a good idea because they've added new stuff there, but, like, what if they had something, or the, the ice spikes, what if they had something else, like in the oceans, or, or something else that seems kind of empty in the game? What if they added it, something to it? Um, then I'm going to be like, oh, we should have made our spawn in that one. So it might be the kind of deal where we make a map, but we resort off one direction from traveling, um, one, one direction to travel in. So as regards for the new map, I think we're going to do something like this on the tab screen where you have something silly like this. And we, and, this, and we had found a seed that we liked. And then we looked up um, a map of it. And we all used this map that showed us where slime trunks were and showed us where some other things were. But it wasn't – this map was survival, survival but it wasn't pure, pure survival. Um and I'm interested in maybe picking a random seed and us all starting together and completely looking around. I think that's one of the things we're going to do. It's going to be completely survival, so we're not going to look at what the seed is, and we're going to save one direction from exploration in case there's new features added. And then in addition, um, I think we're all going to try and work together and have like one big base versus all kind of spreading out and doing our own thing because I like that we like want to have the interaction, and we're also going to try and get more people because we want to have more interaction and just more people in a busier server. Um, and I'm not sure what else. Um, there was something else. You know, Skate and I have been talking about some ideas. So this is the last formal looking around at the, the, the update little thing on Spacecraft. I'm sorry to count this as an episode, but I wanted to talk about to you guys a few things. Um, and to show you a couple of the things I'd finished up with the vault. Um, I have recorded a full tour of Spazcraft, a full detailed tour of everything we've done on this server. It's a three-part series. Each one's like 15 to 20 minutes. And that'll be uploaded together at some point in the near future. Um, I've had a run of Stardew Valley episodes uploaded. I've got this kind of thrown in that mix. And then when Stardew Valley's over, I'm going to upload the Spazcraft three episodes. And then I have about 15 more Stardew Valley episodes that I'm going to upload. Um that I've already had made, and I thought about maybe doing, like, some sort of review, because I really wanted to do a review to you guys about Firewatch and Stardew Valley and Tomonaji Life and a few other games that I've played recently, so let me know, <laughs> I'll post it, this will be mentioned in another video, but let me know, what do you think of, a, of an update of, a, of some reviews, I'm not, I just kind of find that interesting, and then check out my second channel, because I have some hiking videos on that as well, um, I think that channel is going to get a rehaul very soon and become more of a personal channel then second channel to this or there might be a new channel um i'm all over the place <laughs> on my youtube um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the tour video in spazcraft and then on the brand new spazcraft map where i will be going over all the details of how we're starting out this new map so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Ah! See ya! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out some more Minecraft, why not check out my Sky Factory 2 Let's Play with Zerthic and Necker by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to see something else, you can check out my Eidolon Let's Play that I'll be finishing this summer by clicking here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter down below. And then if you'd like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.